When you sign in to myaccount.mcafee.com, you can manage your subscriptions, auto renewal settings, product downloads, billing, and more. If you've not signed in for some time, you might have forgotten your password or the email address that you registered with. Here's how to recover those and get you signed back in. First, let's see how to find your registered email address. If you have an app such as LiveSafe installed on Windows, open it and click the account icon on the left side. Click My Subscription and your registered email address is shown. On a Mac, click Account on the right side. Your registered email address is shown on the left. And if you have McAfee Security on Android or iOS, open the app and tap the Settings icon on the bottom right. Then tap My Account. Your registered email address is shown under Contact Information. So now we know what email address to use. But what about your password? Well, if you can't remember your password, you'll have to reset it. Here's how. On the sign-in page, click Forgot Password. Next, type the registered email address that you discovered from the step before, and then click Email Me. We'll email you a password reset link. Note that the link expires in 72 hours, so make sure to reset your password before then. After a few moments, you'll see an email with the title Reset Your McAfee Password. If you don't see the email after a few minutes, check your spam or junk mail folder. Open the email and click the link inside. Then type in your new password, making sure that it's between 8 and 32 characters long and contains at least one uppercase character at least one lowercase character, and at least one number. Type it again to confirm, and then click Reset Password. After resetting, you should then be able to sign in with your registered email address and your new password. To make signing in easier, your browser might ask to remember your details for future. Only use this option on your own devices. Don't save your login details on a public computer. And that's it. Before we finish up, let's go back to the sign-in page. You might have noticed that it contains an option to sign in with a one-time passcode. With this option, you don't even have to remember a password. To learn more and to see how this works, click the link at the top right. If you're still unable to log in, even after trying all of the suggestions in this video, it's time to contact customer service. To do this, click the Contact Us link on the bottom left of the page. Thanks for watching.